the billion dollar bet actually we've run some ads uh, uh, because of Google AdWords I had to shorten it down to billion dollar bet but it's actually a hundred billion dollar bet and why you ask the reason is is that uh, uh, I worked the Henderson mine uh, which produces molybdenum which is up around Empire Colorado I worked there on the tunnel and then I worked uh, uh, in the cave-in areas uh, that we had in that mine. And I uh, also worked uh, uh, the Bessie G and several other small mines, a lot of them on rail. And uh, uh, did a secondary escapeway in the London mine in Fair Play. So anyway, that's some of my background. I have a degree in business administration. And uh, I, over the years, I've worked with several PhDs. Uh, basically, the Henderson mine produces molybdenum, and uh, 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 on an annual basis uh, average, they produce about a billion and a half a year for the past 20 years, and they probably have 20 years to go to into the future. So it's on that basis. And what the PhDs have told me, uh, uh, they've reflected some of their reports, but some of it was private because you can't back some of it up. As Sid Williams uh, 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 indicated, of course, the ultra basic rise rocks, which is is actually in the geologic reports anyway, and uh, it's kind of tucked away in there. You got to look for it, and. Uh, uh, and then uh, uh, Ted Pastor is a renowned petrologist. He worked on uh, Mountain Pass and uh, other deposits around the world. And, uh, and uh, uh, Ted did most of the, uh, all of the, well, most of the thin section work. And uh, uh, of course, the uh, Telluride related veins. And uh, we have basically three or four vein systems that are right close together. And uh, uh, we found uh, uh, within the quartz veins themselves, in some cases, and or in the tr intrusive, we found slivers of intrusive and uh, that appears to be where these metal balls and, and different uh, uh, blebs of, uh, of, of, of iron uh, platinum combination have occurred. And uh, uh, of course it's all basically gold and silver. Uh, the alteration zone was so large that uh, Ted s said he couldn't believe that people hadn't discovered this. Uh, what looks like or appears to be maybe sandstone is actually altered intrusive uh, once you thin section it. And so uh, anyway, Ted, Ted believes that uh, uh, he's, he had said that uh, uh, I can't believe they missed this and uh, I think you actually have a deposit here the size of say the Climax deposit. Now at depth, who knows what we'll have, but it, we have the ultra basic rocks which gives you one perspective there uh, as far as the depth and then the veins uh, uh, oh about six to eight hundred feet in in distance and width and uh, the veins themselves are up to 18 uh, uh, feet wide you had a uh, uh, real rich silver uh, shaft in production right above us and then uh, uh, across the uh, little stream in there on one of the vein systems they had uh, uh, the rail still there and uh, caved in in the entrance but uh, they went back in about 500 feet and uh, uh, that's all in the USGS reports and on, on the presentation page that I had. Uh, also, I have come up with uh, 
some of it I assayed myself, which is, if you know anything about assaying, which, which uh, uh, there's limited knowledge about uh, platinum metals. You don't have a lot of geologists and different people that have actually worked with platinum metals and everything. So they, they may look at a bead and it doesn't mean anything to them, but somebody that's worked with it, when you uh, have it where it uh, flattens out in, in uh, uh, in your uh, uh, different indicators, uh, then you know what you have, and and that's all uh, scientifically verified too as to what uh, happens. Uh, basically, gold, silver, tellurium, uh, and uh, Ted would uh, he said it could be Molly, but uh, probably. Uh, copper based it uh, with gold credits at depth. There's uh, 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 to the north of us up in the Rico district, there's a, a porphyry deposit that had been discovered up there. And uh, uh, so, anyway, that gives you a basic background. I'm looking for uh, investors and or uh, companies to work with on this or to come to a deal on. Uh, I want to see it drilled and developed if it proves out. Uh, I believe uh, you know, near surface there could be uh, uh, some rich deposits that could be found. And uh, uh, it's time to shoot an IP line across it. There are several IP lines. And then uh, get the permits and go in and, and drill it and find out uh, if we're right on this whole deal. Uh, you have the geophysical and everything, all of that, a lot of that is in, in the reports already. I'll try to, uh, in, in later postings here and or videos, go into more depth. Uh, in some of the website, you get uh, a reality show and and, or documentary and everything that we talked about. That is just a possibility where you would have uh, multiple profit points. And uh, 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 you have to do public relations anyway, so why not get paid for it? And, uh, and any revenue source is a positive. And so it would be the sequence of, uh, of uh, uh, near surface deposits following that, then the deeper drilling and the shooting of the IP lines, taking the company, uh, my two corporations, public at some point. That's what all that is, but I can be purely mining as far as that goes too. I can go either way. Uh, uh, looking for help on this and uh, uh, reach out to us and uh, stay tuned for the next video. For those that uh, are just kind of interested but they're a novice and everything, uh, we'll have some that show the pictures and some basic uh, ideas of, uh, uh, of mining and, and education as far as mining and minerals and everything. So, been good talking with you and stay tuned. One way to support us is Go to the store and buy some of our products. Talk to you later.